This was the first dive of the day and there were plenty of small bass over the reef but to find the bigger stuff you've got to really look in the reef uh, to see what's hiding there. I'm slowly swimming over boulders looking to ambush fish and this fish was a bit bigger but I still thought it had some growing to do. My dive buddy had spotted this wreck and the wreck looked really promising to begin with but it was pretty empty. I will be going back again though in the future to see if I can find anything in this wreck. I always take a torch when I go diving, I find it really useful for uh, this sort of stuff. I haven't dived this area of the wreck before so what I'm doing is just looking around and trying to get like um, a layout in my head of the area so for future diving it makes it easier to dive on the wreck. I then looked up to see a pretty nice pollock and put in a really hard shot to land this fish. Very nice. He weighs up, well, he measures up about 46, so I might put the box in my gun. Yeah, that cooks up, I mean, that's a nice meal, that. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Put it in there and I'll get Well, the thing is, you, you're going to have two bass a day, so, you know, what I might do is shoot one like that yeah. and then look out for a big Hold one. Look out for a bigger one, and at least then you've got one for food. I had a complete shocker trying to catch one of these uh, smaller bass. I was 50-50 about taking the shot and then I slammed the spear into the rock instead. Yeah, that was the first one, which is ideal plate size, isn't it? Very nice, yeah. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah, so that's the pollock. Oh wow. Bloody hell. Yeah, so nothing like monster but for a shallow shore dive. For Dorset as well, that's a nice. Yeah, for Dorset, yeah. Bloody hell. Oh I tell you what I did see as well. Yeah. Loads and loads of mullet. Like so like uh what do you call it? Thin lip on it. Massive. So a couple of big ones came at me. I'm like, right, you know, you're having it. Yeah. And then uh, just a wall full of mullet, like huge amounts.
On this day, I was determined to catch a crab. They're one of my favorite seafoods. Portland has uh, a pretty good uh, reputation for brown crabs. There's lots of horizontal cracks in the rock and the crabs love to stuff themselves in these cracks. So underwater it looks something a bit like this and I basically swim along the cracks uh, just scanning looking for crabs. And as luck would have it, this uh, crab, probably about three pounds, was out in the open. So uh, nice easy catch for me, just go and pick it up. Happy days. Brown crabs are very slow growing and potentially long lived, although not this one, obviously. So they have a lifespan of up to 100 years or so and they take over 10 years to reach maturity and the growth rate will vary with age and gender um, but it can slow right down to a carapace width growth of one or two mil a year so to compare that to say common lobsters common lobsters take about five to seven years to reach that 87 to 90 mil carapace length and they have a lifespan of up to about 50 years The first crab that I caught was down about 12 meters and these were a lot shallower so these were about 4 meters and I found lots of crabs in these cracks. Some I just couldn't get out, some were too small but I was really happy with uh, this crab here. This is a top knot and it was chilling out next to a crab and I, uh, I thought it was bigger than um, what it turned out to be so I had a look at it and then I uh, let it go but if it was bigger I would have kept it and eaten it.